What's up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. So we got some interesting topics today. So, but before we get into that, please like, comment, subscribe. And I hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Now, let's start this thing off with your girl, Selena Gomez. Oh, so Selena Gomez just won. She just did an interview recently. Oh, she's on the cover of Rolling Stone. I think it's Rolling Stone Latina or Rolling Stone Spain, one of those things. And um, she's talking about her documentary she has coming out. I believe she has a documentary coming out tomorrow. Not really sure. But she does. Uh, she was just recently at a film festival supporting that. You know, she has a documentary coming. Um, she also revealed in this interview that she cannot have children, um, you know, the regular way. You know, due to some of her illnesses. And, and she, uh, she said due to bipolar the bipolar medication she takes. She also reviewed that Taylor Swift is her only friend in the industry. So, you know, Selena put, keeps it pretty quiet. Um, she also stated that she has about 16 songs written already for the second project. Should be coming out, you know, soon. So, if you're into Selena Gomez... You know, look out for her in that interview. And also, like I said, she just put out the documentary. So it should be pretty interesting stuff. On how Cher got her groove back. <laughs> so, last night, Cher, 76 years old, was seen with, uh, I believe it's 36-year-old A.E., which stands for Anthony Edwards. Now, if he looks familiar to you, it's because A.E. is the former uh, fiancé. I think they were married secretly, but the former ex of uh, Tahiri Jose. Everyone knows Tahiri from Love and Hip Hop and from being Joe Button's, you know, first uh, big girlfriend on reality TV that really blew him up. So they're out at Craig's, I believe it is. They were meeting Tyga. And one of Ty and you know, a girl that Tiger's been dating off and on for the longest. And some pictures caught, you know, caught them pictures. They there's some pictures of him kissing on her hand and you know, they said they were all hugged up, all booed up, all booed out. <laughs> hey, why not? She's seventy six years old, she has still looks good for age. You know, I don't know what's going on, how whether, you know, she can still have sex. I don't know. You know, but Cher is definitely in good enough shape. She's the type that, you know, you'll be questioning yourself like, damn, she's 76 and she's probably stronger than me. <laughs> now, Amber Rose, the only way you can get back and get right, Amber Rose, you got to get back with Kanye West and turn him back black again. Make America black again. You you have to go back, you know, with Kanye West. And that would be a culture reset. Stick your finger in his booty hole and reset. <laughs> it's a reset. Come on, Amber. I'm pulling for y'all. And moving on to that girl, Megan the Stallion. Now, Megan... Uh, today, we, we, it was a report. I forgot where I saw it first. I think I saw it like in Girls and Rap. And it was reported that um, Megan owes Carl Crawford and 1501 Entertainment another album after it was determined by the judge that Something for the Hotties is not an album. Now, when once people who don't like Megan seen that, oh, they started blowing up all over social media. And making fun of her, saying she's still stuck in that 360. She's still stuck with Carl. You know, oh, Carl is a B and all this other stuff. So it's basically saying that Megan needs to give Carl and 1501 another album. Now, even if this is true, Megan should have had that ready. Like, she should have had another thing. You know what? Just in case they say this an album... I got some more songs written. I, I make an album out of that. That's what I would have had from the beginning. 
Now, Megan came on to Twitter and basically said that this is cap. Megan said that, you know, first thing she said is, why is everybody so, you know, so thirsty to hear bad news? Why is everybody, you know, so that they want to hear bad news so bad? Then she came back and she said, that case had not, the, the, the court date hadn't even come up yet. I think she said the court date's like December 12th, something along those lines. So they didn't even have court for that yet. And you're talking about, you know, um, you know, you're talking about this is, you know, said and done. It's already a conclusion. She was like, stop spreading misinformation. There's a text she put, I um, mean, the, uh, the tweet. Why y'all be so hyped for negative news? Very miserable behavior, right? Now, Megan should know by now is there's a lot of people who's on that narrative that Megan's lying, and those people don't like Megan. Then you have the people who are, are fans of uh, people who don't like Megan, so you know they're going to side with them. Uh, she said, on a daily basis, the man over in that camp haven't been clearing my music to be synced anywhere, shows, movies, etc. So I almost couldn't even do my Amazon performance tonight. So what she's saying by synced is people are asking, can they use Megan's music for movies or for commercials or something? And if, if her record label says no, then she's not able to not able to use her music. Any movie, so that's kind of like she's still under contract with them. That's kind of like hurting them as well, because then they get no check from it. So this is the weirdest setup I've seen in a long time. This fifteen oh one, she says here, no judge has ruled anything about the fifteen oh one case. This information is not accurate. The court date for this isn't even until December twelfth. We have not went to court and got a summary judgment. Please stop spreading misinformation. So, my thing, my whole thing is this. To me, Carl, 1501, whoever's running this over there, is, is, is lame. Like I said before, I'm not going to keep no woman that don't want to be kept. That's like somebody, you know, telling you, you know, I don't love you anymore. You don't satisfy me anymore. I, I don't come when we have sex. I don't like when we're out. I don't like to be seen with you. You know, I, I want out. And me saying, no, you is ain't over till I say it's over. And, no, and, and no, if they're married, not signing divorce papers, just trying to be petty and better. It's like, she don't, the girl don't like you. Can't you get that through your greasy head? <laughs> so, I mean, if I'm him, I'm like cutting my losses. The whole thing with Carl is Carl knows that this is it for him. This is his meal ticket. And he just wants to try to milk this meal ticket as much as he wants, as much as he can. And on top of that, make her as uncomfortable as he can make her. Right? So he's actually hoping that this, this verdict is, is not guilty for Tory. So he can jump on the dragon, Megan, Yolanda, trying to ruin her career. At least if her career is no more, nobody else would be benefiting off it. You know, that's how he'll be looking at it. If I can't benefit off it, I don't want nobody to benefit off it. But we'll see. The court date's supposed to be December 12th. I don't know how, why people come up with these things. I don't know what, you know, who comes up with these with no proof. But uh, Megan said that the, the court date ain't until December 12th, and it hasn't even happened yet. This is your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell.